Okay, all right, let me look through this comment right now. Okay, I'm looking through all the comments, and I got an interesting one right here. Should I buy packs now or wait until 1231 where EA Sports is expected to drop a huge bombshell right on the zero chill and make it wild? Let's go ahead and jump into it right now. Let's get it down to the nitty gritty. No nacho libre. Let's go! Okay, we are back right now, guys. Welcome to G Myers World. We're going to be talking about, if you're watching this video on December 30th, 2018, this is for you. If you're watching it afterwards, you missed out on it, and you're probably going to be raging uncontrollably, but you don't need to. All you got to do is subscribe right here, and you'll be able to see everything else that goes on afterwards, so you'll be able to live vicariously through G Maya. So don't worry about it. I'm doing it for you, all right? Now, when you look at all these packs, I want to point out some interesting things to you guys, right? Make sure you understand that these things right here, this promo is supposed to be go like this is supposed to be happening. I believe it ends on January 7th, 2019. That's what EA Sports said. So it should these things should be up, right? So you guys have the opportunity to get snow, interchange it, re-roll, do all kinds of stuff and pull so many different players. A lot of you guys have also gotten presents where you were able to do a lot of different things too. Uh, you know, you got like, you know, glitchy pulls like I did. I pulled a 91 out of a gold pack, a gold pack. Some of you guys pulled higher overalls. That's all good and well, right? So you're looking at these zero chill bundles. You're looking at all these things and you're trying to figure out, you know, what should I do? Should I get a bundle now or should I wait for what EA is expecting um, to do? which is drop something that's really, really crazy uh, for New Year's Eve, all right, which is the last day of the promo. According to way the, well, the gifts, the last day of the gifts, it's expected that they're going to be doing something special, all right? Buying packs right now is probably not going to be the smartest thing. I personally, like I said, because I'm a grinder and also a person that buys packs, so I've done over 1,600 solos, but at the same time, I've bought, you know, I've bought bundles. You guys can check out the bundles that I purchased right here in my playlist, um, G Miles World Pack Openings, or whatever it is, Madden 19 Pack Openings, right on the homepage of G Miles World. You guys go ahead and check it out, and you'll see every single one that I've opened, because I've opened every one for you guys to see uh, how many bundles I've purchased, right? But I still take advantage of getting the free things from EA, which I would highly recommend, and I keep telling you guys that but for some reason you guys are not playing your solos you're not do you're not doing a lot of the things that gives you the opportunity to get free things from ea but then you complain that they want you to buy packs for everything you see like that just it doesn't make any sense you guys have to figure it out like bro look it's going to be a balance ea is not giving you guys nada for free you know what i'm saying like realistically you got to put in time or you got to put in the money point blank period but should you buy the packs okay Let's figure this out right now. The most recent update, you get Ray Lewis as a legend and uh, Shannon Sharp as a legend. You also have these guys in packs until 1231. Vita Vea was a goon for me when the year first started off. I have no use for him right now because every other person that I play is running around with Michael Vick. Newsflash, Michael Vick is fast. So you can't have a fat guy running around. In the like He's just going to be sitting there like an idiot. He's of no use to me right now at this point in the game. Russell Wilson, you can easily chem him up with with John Madden coach to a 99 and, um, you know, lo uh, locked What is it? Uh, go deep and stuff like that. You could easily chem him up. Ty Law is very, very glitchy. Is he a guy that I care about, though? Not so much. Now, his value is pretty high, though. He's one of the higher value cards. So if you were to buy a bundle right now, that's something that I would look for. Okay? I would try to pull him. Um, or get cards and be able to quick sell them and like try to do a gamble for the um well he's a limited so you can't pull him so you would have to be, you would be able to power him up uh, a week from now but he's a guy that his value yeah he's still in the eights uh, oh he's down to sevens okay so he oh he's down in the sixes oh this dude's garbage but he's one of the highest 96s next to Randy Moss because Randy Moss is the only other one that's really really high but he's also not available in packs all right because he was a limited as well but you'll be able to power him up. Uh, using training points uh, very soon. So that these are the only cards that really have value for people that are looking to buy packs right now. Ty Law and Randy Moss are the only like really like glitchy guys that are worth it to do anything with. You can see he's at 1.71. I don't expect that to change for a while. Unless they release like a Harold Carmichael that has like at least 96 speed, Randy Moss is going to be God with this card for a while. All right. Now, like I said, I chose to spend the heavy money on him. I don't regret it. He's a 99 speed. He's a savage beast. He's an animal. He's ready to go for me. Well, 95 base right there. But when you chem him up, he's 99. So 
that would be something um, along the lines of what you could do uh, if you were to purchase packs right now. That's like your ceiling. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't pull Randy Moss, and then you just saw that Ty Law was a limited. You can't pull him either. All right, so with those two things being the way that it is, with Ty Law being available, I would think that one of your most glitchy pulls that you can get is probably, you know, this guy out of a pack right now is a limited time, and you can make, you know, well over a half of a million muck coins right now. He's going to be in packs until what? what let me see what time it is. What time is it? Let me see what time that's going to be right now. Uh, he's going to be in packs until what's going on? Okay, until 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, New Year's Eve, right? So. If you were to do it right now, what's the chance of you pulling a uh, you know a limited card? You may end up getting a Russell Wilson. You may end up getting a Vita Vea. You might end up getting one of those cards. That's going to be your ceiling, all right? I believe, this is my opinion, I believe that your ceiling will still be the same after those guys are out of packs because whatever EA Sports releases, they're going to want you to buy more packs. So I think that it's going to be a whole nother world, a whole nother plethora, in the words of Stephen A. Smith, just using random words, a whole nother plethora of cards that you're going to be able to take advantage of, okay? You, you understand what I'm saying? So when you look at it in that aspect, there really is no reason to buy the packs now, all right? Terrell Owens is a trash can. That card sucks. So if you guys are even wondering why I'm not bringing him up, I think EA did his card completely dirty. Like, completely dirty. So, uh, like, you gotta, he's a limited card, so you gotta put him up for a certain amount. But I don't believe that his card is gonna ever see my field. And like, it, 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 it's disgusting, dude. Like, they really put this guy out. Like, that's a limited card going for $8.99. All they had to do was give him, like, a two more, like, two more speed. Like, at least a 93, and then make him chem to a 94, and then add the three, make him a 97 speed at 6.3. They could have at least given him that. They gave this man just total trash. Like, it's just really, really bad right now. So, again, would you be able to pull that? Okay, I believe that they're going to probably give us more limiteds. Like, why not? Would everybody just get in the game on Christmas? You see how they give you, they're give you giving you guys, like, free cards, um, the, uh, the limited overall cards and stuff like that? I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Uh, I spoke about it when I opened it up on the day during the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash gmy as well. I spoke about it. EA Sports is giving you guys free stuff to get you guys ready to go, right? Every year they get a little bit more wild. Like, this is a limited time card. This guy is going to expire on 1-8-2019 and become a 68 overall. Why would EA be giving you guys this? Why would they be giving you a taste of what having a decent team would be? Hmm. Because they want you to spend money. So you don't have to rush, okay? They are going to give you the opportunity to spend your money, bro. You don't need to rush this. There is absolutely no reason to rush any of the situation. You got this guy over here, Julian Edelman and stuff like that. All these limited time cards. What do you think they're going to do? They, they want you to see what it is because these cards have power-ups. They have other additions. They're going to a 68 overall and there's nothing you can do about it. All right? So you can rush it um, and go ahead and get, the, you know, get a bundle, see what will happen. If you were to do it, if you were to get a bundle right now, I probably would not go with anything Legends. I would go with everything Zero Chill because for the most part, this bundle right here that guarantees you a Ghost of Madden past or present, for the most part, everybody that I've seen that, have, that has tweeted me, even the guys that have really, really bad uh, pack luck, they've gotten glitchy things. Now, you see that this pack, it's 22 hours remaining, so it expires, bro. It expires, you know, New Year's Eve, you know, whatever, probably like 10 a.m., whatever like that. So after that, you're going to have to find other ways to get the zero chill cards to be able to put into sets or whatever like that. But again, the, this set right here, it, it it's not supposed to go away until January 7th or something when it ends. I'm pretty upset, though, about the fact that they, do they tell us when it goes down? Like, you have to really be following the stream and, you know, follow a lot of the people that are affiliated with EA Sports to be able to know these things. And that's what I don't like because I think that they should put it there to let everybody know I, I just don't see anywhere where it tells you when it's going to go down. But I believe that they said that all the stuff with Zero Chill will be gone after um, uh, January 7th. I think it expires then. So, I, like I said, based on what I heard in stream, in one of the EA Sports streams, it's supposed to be up till then. If you wanted to gamble with it now and try to do something with it now, you could try to do it along those lines. That is the only bundle. You know, anything, because like this one gives you a guaranteed... You see what I'm saying? A guaranteed uh, full past or present player. 
So that seems to me like, you know, the best case scenario. If you want to dabble and go with like, you know, get two of them, I don't know if two of them for $20 makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? So I, I probably wouldn't go that route. If you're going to go, if you're going to go, you know, go hard, go hard or go home, bro. Just get the whole thing. At least that way with this, you're going to make out regardless with at least, you know, 500K coming from one of those past to present players. If you get luckier, you might get a little bit more, but you might luck out. And then you could have the possibility of pulling another limited that could put you well over a million coins. So those are the options that I would ask you guys to explore before you make any uh, general movements and um, you know go forward with spending your cash. But uh, again, I appreciate the question. I appreciate you guys asking it. But again, be, be very, very careful with it because I'm going to wait out. I'm not doing anything. I'm just waiting out with my snow, just chilling out, seeing what I can do. Uh, I'm under the impression, again, that they said that those snow, the melting snow redeemable in the store should be there until January 7th. If anything else were to happen before then, I don't know. But after 1231 tomorrow, that's the end of the promo with the cards. That should be the final thing for everything that's going on with the promo itself. So let's see how that works out, and we'll go from there. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Enjoy your day. One love.